Tatsuki Fu. So, yeah, that's a cool thing. Hey guys, Josh Luciano here, and in this video, we're gonna go over Magmod's Mag Sphere and Basic Kit. And before we get started, feel free to hit the subscribe button below, hit the little bell icon to receive notifications when new videos come out. I am not sponsored by Magmod at all, I just like using this product and I wanted to share my thoughts on it. Now back in April I went to Shutterfest and it was an amazing event. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put them in the description below or one of these cards will show up so you can check them out after the video. While I was at Shutterfest, I was able to check out the Magmod system and got a chance to actually meet Robert Hall and Justin Login just to kind of like see how they use the Magmod system. I've always been interested in the system itself because of its portability, uh, but I didn't really dig too deep into it until I actually got a chance to meet with them and ask questions. Uh, that was uh, really awesome. Um, so what I did was, after hanging out with them and seeing how the system works, I ended up buying the Mag Sphere and the Basic Kit. First thing I want to go over is the Mag Basic Kit. Let me show you real quick. So this is the Magma Basic Kit. It comes in this box, little box, pretty cool. I love the packaging. That's one thing I like about uh, Magma is that they really take the time into their packaging. It's part of their brand, it's part of who they are. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's also magnetic, just like the uh, the system itself. So you see it, it's like magnets. But in each box, it comes with a uh, bag. So pretty cool bag. Let's check it out. Okay. Microfiber bag. Uh, one thing before we get into the actual items, uh, inside uh, shows what it includes, which I thought was pretty awesome because just opening it, first thing I went to is that I mean, everything's in here, all the details of each uh, item that's in here, the transmitter band, the pouch, the gels, the mag grid, the mag gel, and the mag grip is also included in here. There's the half stop CTL gel that, uh, that's in it, uh, and here is the, the mag grid. What I like about it is these things are super durable. The mag grip is the piece that you connect to your speed light, which has magnets, which you can stack all these uh, pieces together. These are really strong mag, really, really strong magnets. I mean, you can literally like, like, holds well, doesn't come off. And the rubber is durable. I mean, you can really crunch this up and put it in the bag if you need to squish things together inside your bag, depending on how clever your bag is. The next item we're gonna talk about is the Mag Sphere. The Mag Sphere is amazing. It's a diffuser. I'll think of it like a little portable softbox. This is the actual Mag Sphere. Um, you see the magnets back here. Even if you don't have a gel holder, you can place your gel in here. It's, there's like a, there's spacing in here to be able to put your gel in it. I thought that was really cool. Just in case someone lost their gel holder, this uh, would be useful because then they could just put it in here. It's really smart about Magmod. It pushes out pretty substantial amount of light. You do save battery life. It's two times brighter than most flash diffusers. So definitely saving battery. The material is a semi-transparent silicone, so it's like, you know, you can squish it and like put it in your bag. It pops open like that. I think it's pretty cool. Um, looks like a jellyfish. Uh, after using this for about a few times, I really like the way the light pushes out and it's actually, um, it's not just directional, it comes out to the sides as well. Now for the engagement shoot that I shot a few weeks ago, I used both the mag, the mag grid and the mag sphere together. So I did was plop them together and I had my speed light, bam, put it right there and you see? See, it's pretty awesome. Doesn't fall, like shake it, shake it. Doesn't come off. It's like really strong. The magnet's pretty strong. Um, I had, you know, I had it tilted, obviously tilted. It's pretty strong too as well. I mean, and there's weight to it, but the fact that it's just, it's just a strong magnet. See that you can use this like that. For those that shoot differently, like if you're like angle, it's still gonna give out, push out uh, a lot of light. I thought that was really cool about Magma. They thought about that because you have bounce cards that only shoot a certain way. This is all I had in my last engagement shoot. The Mag Grip, the Mag Grid, and the Mag Sphere. Uh, this is all I had. I used one speed light. I had my friend have here just point at the subject. Uh, we tested out different angles. Uh, works very well. I'm super pleased. I'm gonna be putting out more videos uh, and also behind the scenes videos while I'm using this system. And that's gonna be coming out in the next month or so. I'm gonna plan different shoots and actually test this out and show you more like in detail what I'm gonna be using and how I shot it, whatever the case may be. So if you have any questions regarding any of this, any of the Magma system, preferably the Magma Sphere and the Basic Kit, because these are the only two things I have. They do offer other things like the Snoop, the Mag Beam. Um, they have other accessories that you can go ahead and go to the website. I highly recommend it for those that want portability and they don't feel like carrying the softbox to a, to a gig. If you want something that's portable and you don't have anyone to help you, you can definitely use this. Use the system, use the grid, use the sphere. These two things by itself are really, really powerful. And obviously when you add color gels to get creative. Magmount's gonna be at Photo Plus in October in New York. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be going. I'm hopefully my friend Amari's from New York. 
is going to be going as well. Uh, he's another awesome photographer. You should check him out. His link down below. If you have any of their uh, any of their products, um, please comment below. Let me know what you think about them. Um, I'm totally down to try out the uh, Mag Beam. I don't know what I'll be using it for. The way I saw the guys use it at, over at Shutterfest, uh, it's pretty awesome. With that said, if you haven't yet, feel free to hit the subscribe button below. Hit the little bell icon to receive notifications when new videos come out. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook at Stories by Josh. I'm going to be putting out some more different pieces of content, hopefully some interviews, um, also behind the scenes footage. I'm going to be filming this week as well, a personal project of mine which I'm excited to share with you guys. So that's going to be fun. But yeah, uh, share it, like it. I'd really like for you to comment below if you have any questions or any ideas for future videos. I think that will help me a lot just so I can keep pushing out content. Uh, I just want to be able to build this channel as for the community. Anything that I'm learning, I want to give it to you guys. Also, if you have anything you would like to share as well, I'm always down to learn about new things. Until next time, keep shooting, learning, and also sharing.